Malaysia city volunteers help local hospitals to set up check-up and quarantine areas. A city volunteer in China donates her organ to help five families after she passed away. A candidate highlights a megita. Thank you for joining us. A the pandemic has collated in Malaysia, the Pondom Parliament Hospital and Kula Sanitation Bureau have set up checkup and quarantine areas. City volunteers have also provided things, the folding beds and desks and chairs to help them, hoping to support the medical staff. Seeing the light and strong jeans the folding beds, Pandan Government Hospital's medical staff is nicely surprised. They desperately need these supplies. The face shelves, chairs, desks and beds. They need to set up tents to conduct checkups on patients. They do not have enough space indoor so they need to set up the facility outside. In a short time, they cannot find such supplies, so they need to our support. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Kulai Sanitation Bureau, city volunteers have brought 50 pillows after providing 30 jeans folding beds to help serve the quarantine patients. In Gulai, we are the first one to set up a quarantine center. We are able to do so because we've received your help. We've also worked hard, so we are able to do this and provide protection to many people. It is mostly due to your help, really. We have placed 30 jinsu folding beds in there. We hope to help the medical professionals so they can concentrate on their work. They have worked too hard. Mm. I really appreciate Ziji for providing us supplies. I pray that the epidemic can end soon. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Due to the epidemic, Taichung Ziji Hospital stylist's room has been overloaded with making beds. The nursing heads have since taken turns to help lessen the bed making loads, and everyone has very much appreciated the selflessness of the volunteers. With the depletion of manpower, even the nursing heads have been helping out in the dialysis room. In a day, we need to make about 60 to 70 beds. It's a heavy load and the time is tight. There's only 30 minutes. In the beginning, making the beds were a lot of work. Thus, city volunteers took over to help lessen the workload. In just a dialysis room, there are lots of volunteers here to help. Early on, we have six brothers and sisters helping just to make the bed. Due to the epidemic, volunteers no longer come to the hospital to help. Thankfully, some patients' family will offer their assistance. When I saw the nurses preparing to make the beds and preparing the next dialysis machine, they looked really busy. Since I'm here waiting, I thought I'd help them make the bed. With the increase of our workload, we have realized how wonderful the volunteers have been to us. Thankfully, some patients' family members were offered to help during this time. No matter if it's the dialysis room or the clinic rooms, there are no volunteers in any corner of the hospital. But this love has not stopped. The volunteers have brought a bunch of food to cheer up the nurses and staff, and have also kept in touch using the internet. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Though the medical work is doubled for them, the staff's hearts are warmed, knowing the volunteers will always be there. To safeguard the health of those recycling volunteers still going out at this time to store recyclables on behalf of the planet, city volunteers make sure they are taken care of with reusable maker mask. The covers fabric is provided by Dye Technology, while it is assembled by the local volunteers who will suit. The filtering layer is made with the same fabric as protective gowns, so it's very good at keeping respiratory droplets at bay. The Fuxing Recycling Station in Taoyuan, Taiwan handles the recycling for a lot of plastic fruit bags, as well as much of the plastic bags used in packaging. Each day, about 20 to 30 recycling volunteers are here sorting, 
turning the otherwise discarded items into resources once more. Hi everyone, this is from the master and her compassionate thoughts concerning your health. She has asked the volunteers who are good at sewing to make masks cover. The fabric is provided by Dye Eye Technology. This is the inner layer, which is made with the same material as protective gowns, so the filtering protection property is very good. Mask covers are handed to the recycling volunteers one by one, as well as teaching them how to use it. Thank you, Master, for caring about our health and has given us these mask covers. We are thankful. Volunteers at the Baoqing recycling station are also receiving the same items. The filter layer is already inside the mask cover. It can be used for 7 to 10 days. You have four pieces of filter. Today, everyone receives two mask covers and four filter pieces. You know, the Kingdom, the government is implementing stay-at-home order. Local city volunteers Wang Su-jin has used her time to make a multifunctional fabric mask. It can be worn as a mask and also as a mask cover. After the word spread, she has received 100 orders. She made and gave the fabric mask to medical professionals, friends and families, and even homeless people. One person is working on a sewing machine. To prevent the spread of COVID-19, city volunteer Wang Su Zhen has set up a fabric mask factory at her home. Having learned a skill from her seamstress mother, Wang is doing an outstanding job making masks, even though this is her first time. This is the outer layer. This is the inside fabric, or the second layer. We've got third and fourth layers of fabric. She cuts her own pattern and chooses colorful fabric, hoping to change people's perception that only patients wear masks. She also made masks of different sizes for people of different ages. This is for baby, little children. Scotland is also closed off. My family in Malaysia is worried about me because I work in the hospital. Now that I have this mask, people around me and my family can feel at ease for my safety. In the beginning, Wang gave masks to medical professionals to use when going shopping to reduce using up surgical masks. Then word spread among her friends and neighbors and orders keep coming. I'm going to drop you the mask. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, is it alright? I put uh, at the, your door side. I'm working with Age UK. I'm also a town councillor for Morven Link. It was really nice to receive the masks just on the doorstep and all the little um, inserts that came with it, the little bookmark, the little poem. Um, the, the masks were really well made and thank you, it was just such a lovely thing to receive. The fabric is light and permeable and the mask is three-dimensional. There's a nose strip so it can be worn individually and there's also an opening for people to place surgical masks inside. Giving out masks, Wang is also helping people prevent the spread of the virus. She has proven that one person can also make a difference. In the epidemic time, Sijin Malaysia chapter has mobilized volunteers to make mask covers. Among the volunteers, Sulai Shek, who is the teaching assistant of the Sijin patchwork class, also makes mask covers at home with her daughter and granddaughter. Sue has made these mask covers for friends and families. 
Since the outbreak of COVID-19 epidemic, masks have been lacking. So the Malaysia chapter has mobilized volunteers to make mask covers to protect dialysis patients, volunteers, and staff members. The teaching assistant of patchwork class, Solai Chek, has asked her family to help make mask covers at home. I have discovered that I used to sew handbags. After I went to teach them, they would give me the materials once or twice a day and ask me to sew them. I like to make things when given the task I did it. My mother is in charge of sewing. Since we need to connect many pieces, I help place them together. Then my daughter will cut the thread, take out the needles, and flap the fabric. I'm happy to do it. In the family, everyone has this responsibility. Before I started making masks, I felt bored staying at home. Then I told my mom I can make masks with them. After that, I started to help these masks. So Lai Chek wants to give the mask covers to her friends and families. Her daughter has fulfilled her wish. We have learned to spread our love. We are not just doing it for Ciji. We can also start to form good affinities with the people around us. The kind gestures from the three-generation family has brought love and care to people around them during the epidemic period. In Guangdong's Zhuhai City, there is a Ciji volunteer who suffered head injury due to an unfortunate accident. Though she regained consciousness, she eventually was officially brand dead. Her family knew that she wanted to be an organ donor and followed her wish. They donated her two kidneys, one liver, and both corneas. In doing so, Peng Xiaotong helped five families. <laughs> Zhuhai Ciji volunteer Peng Xiaotong had an accident towards the end of March. She suffered major head trauma and was declared brain dead. Her family followed her wishes to be an organ donor and donated her usable organs. Five families have benefited. She gave selflessly to strangers. She is remembered by her loved ones. 51-year-old Peng Xiaotong was a media volunteer from Guangdong's Zhuhai. Besides documenting Ciji's activities, she was friendly with the media volunteers from other provinces as well. Thus, when the bad news reached them, her Dharma family could not accept the fact. The news came as a shock to us. She was a very positive person and loved to smile. She worked hard and dedicated herself. As the new coronavirus hit China earlier this year, Zhuhai City also went into lockdown mode. And under the shortage in volunteer manpower, she came out from behind the scenes to promote vegetarianism. Unexpectedly, it was the last time she did volunteer work. Sometimes we hear people say, I save animals and that's good enough for me. But honestly, if we don't eat meat, then it's also respecting the life of animal and in a way also saving animals. After her organs were donated, Peng Xiaotong completed her last journey in life with the companionship of her Ciji family. Your spirit will stay in our hearts. We vote to continue working the Bodhisattva sort of path in the future together, and I hope Sister Xiaotong feels the same way we do. Although my mother is no longer here, the love I have received on Ciji makes me feel cared for. Thank you. Peng's bright smile is how people best remember her, and by giving selflessly, she completed the finale of her life. In Shenyang, China, there is a family of four who has adopted a vegetarian diet brain guinea four years ago. In the beginning, the grandparents were concerned that the children might lack nutrients if they did not eat meat. But the mother explained to them the benefits of vegetarianism and they finally accepted it. Now the family is also promoting vegetarianism. 
自己本身也是非常喜欢小动物，像狗和猫之类的。他们如果伤了我们的餐桌被我们吃了，太太心疼了。On holidays at the Cao family, the couple cooks together at meal time. The food we buy outside contains a lot of oil and salt. In fact, delicious dishes should be simple. The entire family started to adopt a vegetarian diet four years ago. Although the family seniors did not accept it in the beginning, they have slowly changed their thoughts. The seniors did not understand it. Grandma was worried that the children would not grow if they did not eat meat. Then I explained to them the concepts. Now the seniors have come to accept it. <laughs> the couple pays attention to the look and nutrition of vegetarian dishes. We eat a lot of bean products. My children love to eat beans, such as peas. I add some carrots. They love to eat this. I know adopting a vegetarian diet is very good for our health, so I tell my classmates and some friends. Everyone adopt a vegetarian diet, and they like it very, very much. Embracing vegetarianism can nurture our compassion and improve our digestive system. This is good for our health. As we adopt the vegetarian diet, we are taking care of our health every day. Chao's son adopts a vegetarian diet and has these special thoughts. There is water, glass, flowers, and trees on Earth. On this half part of the Earth, humans have cut trees and damaged the Earth, so there are only humans left. I hope in the future the Earth can be like this, not the other half. In Hualien, a group of youth set up a fan page on social media to promote vegetarianism. They introduced local vegetarian restaurants, share vegetarian cooking, and introduced health knowledge, hoping to inspire more people to adopt the vegetarian diet. Hualien youth utilize internet live streaming to promote vegetarianism. With a single tap on the smartphone, viewers can watch the live stream. We do our best to promote vegetarianism, saving lives and persuading people to adopt a vegetarian diet. We work so hard to promote vegetarianism to save animals who are being slaughtered before they grow up. We also do this to save the earth. Since the fan page was created on March 10th, there are nearly 2,000 followers. They introduce local vegetarian restaurants, demonstrate vegetarian cooking, and share health knowledge, promoting vegetarianism with a firm resolve. The reason we introduce vegetarianism through social media is to familiarize everyone with this lifestyle. They can protect the earth and influence their family and friends. They inspire people's interest in vegetarianism and inspire more people to protect the earth. Zhao 30 volunteers also promote vegetarianism in communities, enterprises, hospitals, and public offices. These vegetarians are working with one heart and one mind to promote vegetarianism. The principal dean of education and the field teachers from the senior high school affiliated with Hualien University used their vacation time to pay a visit to some students home in Taidong. In these past few years, there have been seven students who have chosen to study at the senior high. In the rain, Miss Liao waits at the door for her three daughters to return from school while her children are on their way home from Hualien and is having a great laugh in the car. <laughs> the near 100 kilometer journey nears the end as they first arrive at the Liao home. <laughs> Four, <laughs> <laughs>
The transportation of the eastern coast isn't like other areas where there are trains to reach. So we believe if they're chosen to attend school in Hualien, the parents must have lots of expectation for their education. I feel each parent has different ideas, but I think in the end, they still hope their children can learn to be independent at an early age. The three kids have not let their mother down. Upon their return home, they began cleaning up the home, which is something they've done in school as part of the recent epidemic prevention. Next, the school staff drop off Wang Yanting at her home. Wang's positive energy has not changed since she started in the city school, but what have changed are her grades. There has been much difference in her homework. In the beginning, it wasn't that great, but now I think she's doing well. The principal of the senior high drops off all seven students from the Taitung area at their home and takes notes of the responsibilities their parents have placed on her for their children's education. City Singapore chapter has converted face-to-face -face training courses into online training for team leaders motivating members to share on the internet is a new attempt and challenge. However, with courage, volunteers pass through layers of difficulties and finally achieve heart-to-heart -heart communication on the training day. Singapore Chi Chi Cultivation Training Courses at Jin Shi Hall were converted to online training. More than 300 volunteers cultivated together in their homes. At first place, it can be done as long as the internet, mobile phone or computer is available. But for Chi Chi's sisters who are relatively unfamiliar with 3C are quite nervous. We watch the videos on YouTube while do the sharing on WhatsApp. We answer the questions from team leaders one by one so they feel at ease. Because I have not used computers for a long time, so I'm quite worried and do not have confidence. We connect the HDMI wire to the TV and they just need to press the play button. Fortunately, my son is here today, otherwise no one helps me. Chiji volunteer Lai Zhufan, who is the head of Team Leaders, has 31 chat groups in her mobile phone, receiving non-stop messages every day. If you have any problems, we'll answer you immediately to provide necessary care. This is to give a great relief to team leaders, and we don't know how long the current epidemic will last. It is better for everyone to learn new technology together. As I'm a senior volunteer, if I come to learn, everyone would think it might not be difficult. Although it is not conducted face to face, our hearts seem connected. The current epidemic cannot hold back the heart of pursuing Dhamma teachings, as cultivation can be done through advanced technology nowadays. Doctors remind parents to take extra care of children as the epidemic continues to heat up. Take a look and see you next time.